coming out of Psycho Jump, we got Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta designs for the Dragon Ball Super movie, as well as Beerus and Whis. Now take a look at this Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, and then let's take a look at the base Super Saiyan form Goku that we saw earlier. And look at that, it is literally an exact recolor in every sense of the word. So we're not going to be getting anything new or different. I mean, it is it is pure recolor here, not even any extra bangs or different bangs or anything like that. So there you go, guys, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta. And knowing now that they are Super Saiyan Blue means that there is no nerf, nothing preventing them from going God forms, maybe to put them at the level of the evil Saiyan or Saiyans that they're going to be battling so somehow these saiyans are gonna be i guess as strong as super saiyan blue are beerus and Whis gonna get involved like just how strong can this villain be that's the real question i just don't know how they're gonna fit that into the story but as we find out information obviously we'll let you guys know we also got the character designs for Beerus and Whis. That Vegeta one is the same that we saw earlier, so nothing new there. Beerus and Whis pretty much look the same as we know and love, so I don't think anything's really going to change drastically out of them. The art style may dull down their features just a tad. Whis's uniform does look black here, but I don't think it's actually going to be black. I think that's just discoloration from the scan. If we take a look at the last image we got from Beerus and Whis, Weiss character designs for the movie, you can see that Weiss's outfit actually is the regular standard color. So unless Weiss turns evil or he got some kind of upgrade in uniform, I think it looks great in black actually, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's not what he's going to be wearing a black outfit for the movie, but I wouldn't mind if he did. One more little tidbit of information coming from Govita XV on Twitter. On June 21st, we are supposed to get a special anime commercial of Dragon Ball Heroes, the anime. So we'll probably get our first look at what the anime is actually going to be like. I figure it's probably going to be something like the cutscenes that we've seen already, but we should see that on June 21st. And that's probably going to be the trailer for the anime. I don't know why it's taking so long for the trailer to come out. I mean, mid-July at some point is when the actual anime is supposed to come out. So they're releasing the trailer very, you know, soon before the actual anime comes out, but at least that'll get people pumped up. As far as if we're going to get Dragon Ball Heroes on Crunchyroll and things like that, I don't think so. I haven't heard anything about that. Crunchyroll will probably try if they know <laughs> the hype that is Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Heroes is definitely something that people want to see. So hopefully they get on that, and we can all watch it together and review it together. But until we get any more information, I'll talk to you guys down the road. <laughs>